Merry Christmas, oh, Merry Christmas, oh, Merry Christmas to you. He's so dumb. Hey, what's up, Brandon Ears? My name is Brandon Gazrar, and today we're going to be talking about some Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party advice, some tips and tricks, a little bit of, you know, hints, but first. So as a lot of you guys may know already, I am doing this little thing called Vlogmas, which is a video every single day in the month of December leading up till Christmas. So that's 25 videos every single day. I want your guys' help. What better way to include you guys in Vlogmas than have you guys do little intros for me? You can go ahead and submit three to six second intros saying, hi, my name is and I'm with the YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter, any social media that you want to plug, or if you don't want to plug it, just don't plug it and just skip that part. And you're watching Brandon Goes Rar. Merry Vlogmas! That's all I want from you guys. My email's right here. It's down in the description below. All right, back to the tips. So I know it sounds pretty impossible, but the main thing that you need to do is catch all of the amazing entertainment. You've got a frozen holiday wish, you've got Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade, Holiday Wishes Fireworks Spectacular, A Totally Tomorrowland Christmas, Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration, and then my favorite, all of the exclusive foods, snacks, treats, and the exclusive character meet and greets. I love those so much. Like, you've got Sandy Claus, you've got the Seven Dwarves, you've got the princes with their princesses. There's a lot of cool exclusive character meeting greets. Now I can hear you and you're saying this all sounds impossible. Like there's no way that you can fit all of this entertainment, all these meet and greets, all this food, all this so much fun festivities into one night. Well, I'm gonna let you know how to do it. Here's how to make the most out of your party. One of the biggest perks of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is being allowed into the parks three hours before the party. Yeah, I know, they say that the party starts at seven, but really, they let you in at four o'clock, mm -hmm. so you have like all this time to, uh, I don't know, get fast passes from four to seven because you can't get fast passes during the party. You can line up for meet and greets like Jack Skellington or Sandy Claus during this party. You can line up for the Seven Dwarves. You can get in and you can have like all the holiday treats that are still available before the party starts. One fast pass that I highly recommend is the Jingle Cruise. It's a little holiday overlay that they do of the Jungle Cruise, but they call it the Jingle Cruise, and it's packed full of a bunch of holiday puns, so many Christmas decorations, I love it. Go check it out, get a fast pass for it before the party, and I swear, it's like the best way to kick off your holiday party. And if you do want to meet Sandy Claus or the Seven Dwarves, Cut you- in line. That, or you need to show up at 4 p.m on the dot because you can be the first in line and then once they come in at seven, that's three hours of waiting, I know, I've done it before. But if you're first in line, you can be one of the first people to meet them and then you can be one of the first people out of line so that you're not wasting any time in your Mickey's Very Merry Christmas part. What am I doing? Now, this tip is for both party goers and non-party goers. Do you want to see the castle lit up? Do you want to see the castle light up with 200,000 sparkling dream lights? Do you want to see the process of all the lights shooting up into the air? Do you want to see Elsa use all of her ice powers and snow powers to transform Cinderella's castle into Elsa's ice palace for the entire night. Well, you can, before the party even starts. They start this show at 6 p.m., but they don't tell you that because Disney wants to like confuse you a little bit because they want you to think that it's only in the party, exclusive to the party, but really, they have the show at 6 p.m. and they have the show at 8 p.m., but they don't ever list the show at six. So if you don't have a party ticket, stay, watch a nice little show, and then go home. Or you can get that out of the way before the party even starts, and then you have so much more time on your hands. Disney doesn't tend to communicate this clearly because they want you to think that it's only part of the Christmas party, but it's not. Now once the party starts at seven o'clock, and if you're not in line to meet Sandy Claus or the Seven Dwarves, this is a perfect time to go hunting for special holiday food, meet some uh, more exclusive characters that aren't as popular as Sandy Claus and the Seven Dwarves. My favorite are the princes with their princesses. Or, if you must, go ride some rides. 
One of my most favorite shows during the Christmas season at Walt Disney World is Mickey's Most Merry Celebration. It is, you you have to see it. It's, it's phenomenal, it's great, and I love it. Or you can go back in my last Vlogmas and watch it from there if you can't make it. But if you're gonna watch it in person, which I highly recommend that you do, I would suggest that you show up at 9.25 p.m. This way, once it's over, you'll be right in front of the castle for 10 p.m. when the Holiday Wishes fireworks start. You're right there, back up a few feet, and then you're right in front of the castle for an amazing view of the fireworks. If you don't want to see Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration, I highly recommend that you go behind the castle for a 360 view, and then there's like this little hole in the trees. I, I filmed it. I will show you. You're just gonna have to wait for Vlogmas to start. Then after that, you can head over to Main Street, which is just a couple steps away, and grab a seat right in front of the castle again for the second, yes, second. Most people don't realize that there's two of them. The second Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. And because a lot of people don't realize or remember that there's two of them and they get like all hyped up and they wanna go see the first one, there's not as many people there, one, and two, most people have left the park already. Or if they haven't left the park, they've already tended the first and they're too busy eating and meeting and they're just, they're just way too busy to even care about the second one because they've already seen the first. Now, if you have any energy left in you by this time, I suggest that you head over to Tomorrowland and catch the Totally Tomorrowland Christmas Show. It's pretty cute. It stars Stitch, Mike Wazowski, and Buzz Lightyear, and it's just, it's a really cute show that if you have the time and you have the energy, I highly recommend that you catch. And that starts at 11.45 p.m. Now's the time, I know you guys were wondering, well, when do I do Christmas shopping? When do I go and get all my merchandise for the Christmas? Well, now's your time. On your way out, they don't close the Emporium for like a little bit after the park closes, maybe like an hour or so, like a half hour to an hour or so. Plus, if you're exiting, you're gonna be walking past this already at the end of the night, so why not just save time for more important things and then get all your merchandise and commemorative merchandise and souvenirs and stuff like that when you're leaving. Well, all right guys, my name is Brandon Gozbrar. I'm gonna be- I'm Sabrina. Well, all right guys, my name is Brandon Gozbrar. I'm gonna be making a brand new Disney video every single day for the month of December leading up till Christmas for Vlogmas. So make sure to subscribe right here. Here's two videos that I picked up especially for you. Get those intros in. And I'll leave you with peace, love, unity, and respect. Merry Vlogmas! Hot! Hot! Oh.